see the entrance. There's a bench, fireplace, table, very small table, and some tools for cooking, eating tea, some candle seats. Measuring small houses to prove That's it. This was the small, small lamp, electric, but I sh surely they only had candles in these candle seats the 120 years ago when this was lived in. To make a complete floor in the bedroom. We hope you have enjoyed your visit. Rude Please rain mind your coral, when little you are souvenir leaving. from the waters around Conway. This house was built in the 16th house was built in the 16th century and lived in until 1900. The last inhabitant was a fisherman who was six feet three inches tall and before that an elderly couple lived here. In 1900 the house was condemned for human habitation and the man who owned it went all over the country measuring small houses to prove this was the smallest. It was then opened to the public and has gained a place in the Guinness Book of Records. Looking around, one can see how compact everything is. The seat of the settle against the wall lifts up, and the coal was kept underneath. The cooking was done on the fire, and the water tank is behind the stairs. When the house was lived in, there were no railings upstairs, and the trap door was lowered to make a complete floor in the bedroom. We hope you have enjoyed your visit. Yes. Please mind your head when you are leaving. Let's go upstairs. That's the door. This house was built in the 16th century and lived in until 1900. The last inhabitant was a fisherman. You can see a very small bedroom. Just one bed, a little table, some shelves, another table with a water carafe, only one person, and original roof with beams, beams. Very small, 